what uh, potentially our new operation is going to look like when we come back to some level of normalcy. And I'm not going to pretend like I know when that is. I love that there's people out there like, June 17th, we're going to be back. Like, what the hell did you come up with that date for? But at some point in time, we're going to get back to it. So um, Todd L., this one's for you. Um, operations right now, what does this look like for you? Well, my first comment, I have to agree with Todd. I think this industry is absolutely resilient. And I think the one thing that anytime we sort of deal with any sense of adversity, the one thing that has proven consistent consistently is we really get a clear and evident picture of who our people are uh, from our leaders in our stores to see how they respond. And, you know, as a coach, I always used to say, um, you know, the true sign of an individual is during those times of adversity, how do we react? And I used to always say, listen, I don't need you when I've won seven in a row. I need you when I've lost seven in a row. I need that win. And, so and I'll tell you, that's one thing that's proven really clear with us. Uh, we've got all of our franchises up and running with the exception of one. Um, I've got 11 general managers that are engaged and I think are prepared to battle. And right now, I mean, it, it's, um, it's a tough go. Um, you know, we've, uh, have a plan in place. Obviously a lot of our business circumvents around our service business. Um, fortunately for us, we're still operating at about 70% of what we forecasted for, for the month of April. So we're really happy with that on the service side of our business, um, on the sales side of our business, even, uh, with, uh, the recent events here in the province of Ontario, uh, we're still managing to sell as a group, uh, about 30 cars a week, uh, all digitally. So from a positive perspective, we are preparing for what the new norm will be. And Again, I've never really envisioned um, the automotive purchase just jumping into a traditional Amazon type online because I think there are some still some legitimate industry concerns about am I getting the right information? Is the information accurate? And, and that proves consistent just by the percentage of customers that even just give us phone numbers digitally. Uh, but I think what it does is it allows us to carry that communication and interact with that customer properly so that we give them a sense of confidence and certainty that the information we're giving them is right. The vehicle that they're looking at is the right vehicle and we're prepared to take as much or as little time as you need. So I think holistically, you know, proverbially, it's been said a million times, but these times allow us to reset our business. They allow us to identify who, who are our key players and what sort of leadership capabilities do they have. And then finally, it's really going to allow us to look and cleanse and see, hey, listen, what did our business look like? What were our net returns based on sort of the line when revenue we were generating? And I think the one thing has been evidently clear at the Drive Auto Group, we have seen we can do a whole bunch with not very many. And uh, that's an exciting thing for us. And we really can't wait till things get back to normal. But in the meantime, it's executing the strategy that we have in place that evolves around our service business and catering to those that are required uh, to use our facilities. Uh, certainly look at our digital platform and can up, come up with a really customer centric model that allows us to repeat how customers want to be dealt with. And then finally, when we open up for regular business, we'll see where we are.